Merry Meet. Hello. Pagan Dad. Big friend of Rupert here. And I'm here again to talk about the full moon this time for the month of March. Uh, this month's family moon name is the is the Worm Moon. And it's because as the ground starts to thaw out, and spring's rushing to get here, the little worms start to peek their heads out of the dirt. Uh, you know, before this, the soil was pretty frozen, especially up north. And... They've been in deep soil, but now they're beginning to come up, you know, and they've got to kind of check the weather out, too. They don't know what the weather's like, no TV forecasts. So, you know, and it marks that the robins are going to be here soon because they eat the worms. I mean, spring is coming, you know, the first robin of spring kind of thing. And so what does all this mean for us? Well, you know, think of the job of the worm. They dig through the soil, they eat things, turn in the nutrients for the plants, and in addition, their journeys help to make that soil loose so the plants don't have to work so hard to put down roots, especially when it's been frozen like it is up north. And this tells us also that like the seeds we started last month, whether personal goals or seedlings for our garden, that now is the time to begin to prepare our own soil. You know, whether we go to our garden and we lay down compost and turn over the, the soil, job of the worm we're just going to do it ourselves uh or to our own goals and resolutions where we only need a little bit more work towards getting ready and then it'll start we can plant those things and work with our parents maybe to do a little extra magic to make those things happen throughout the year and of course we're going to have to tend them like any good garden you know water weeding a little bit of work and then until the harvest when we can harvest them so now you know when you and your family gather this month for the family moon Think a little bit about your goal or your, your goals for the year. And be sure to give a little extra thanks to the gods because spring in the warmer weather is almost here. And until next time, blessed be. Thank you, Patrick. You always give us such wonderful information. You heard Peg and Dad. Now is the time to get moving and grooving on your new goals. You can do it! If you want to hear more about what Pagan Dad has to say, you should hop on over to thepagandvillage.com or pagandad.com. He has some more wonderful stories to share with us and some really good insight for parents raising pagan kids too. So hop on over there, take a look. Mm -hmm.